All this stuff? Sure there's only one baby? All this stuff? This isn't half of it. The rest of Jenny's old stuff is in the car. There's more? Are you kidding? Taylor, babies are nothing if not incredibly high maintenance. Oh, they are not. They just have a lot of needs. Yes. Okay. However you want to say it. The solution is all about the schedule. You got to get the kid into a routine. Oh, planning. No, that's good. I can do that. I, I did that in the early. It's a piece of cake. Just keep saying to yourself, feed, change, nap. Feed, change, nap. Feed, yeah, change. you should throw a bath in there every now and then. That would not about do it. Hello, that would not do it. They need hugs and kisses and lullabies. Well, we'll make sure that he gets plenty of those. Oh, yeah. I'm an expert in the lullaby department. I used to still sing to Jake every night. <laughs> okay. So singing, what else? Clothing. You want to make sure he's not too hot, not too cold, you know? You want to make sure he doesn't wear this thing. What's wrong with that? Mama picked it out for, for Jenny. Exactly. That's what the problem is. She, she picked it out for Jenny. Oh, please. This is his, it, what do you Chick say? Out. It's not like we can go shopping for the kid. God forbid there's a pinch that a kid can't wear pink. Am I wearing anything now? I'm just saying. Hey, it's, you know, I wore all my kids' hand-me-downs, and there's, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care what he wears. I am just so happy to have him back. Yes, I am. I can't believe he's really here. Hey. Promise me you'll take care of our son. No. Trevor will love it here. It's a very quiet place. People really stick to themselves. Until they see you with a baby, then they're going to want to know your whole life story. But if they see me with the baby, I will tell them that he's my nephew. Or my niece. Just don't put him in the pink thing. That's all I'm Big saying. Big on the ink pay, OK? It's fine. And she's on to something. I mean, David is looking for a little boy, right? So what if, instead of you taking care of a Trevor, you take care of a Tracy? Yeah. You want to turn my son into a girl? Not permanently, no. Uh, forget it. He's had enough confusion as it is. No way, honey. Actually, that's, that's not a bad idea. I mean, Ted doesn't have them often. But no, David, David would never catch on. It's, it's good. <sighs> Uh, fine. As long as he's safe. I will guard him with my life. Uh, okay, well, 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 what if you... You can't get him to stop crying or, or he won't eat. What if you need help? And I'll be here. I'll tell you what. What if I stick around, OK? I'll spend the night so I can show Taylor the ropes. I mean, if, if it's OK with you. <sighs> I leave Trevor, and I feel like my heart is crushed. What am I going to do when he goes off to college? Oh, please, can we not worry about college yet? Just think it's a little soon. He's just across town, and I can't stop thinking about him. How long do we have to keep this up? Well, I'm not sure, but whatever it is, we can handle it, OK? A little strength, a little courage, like we have been. Any time you're worried about it, just remember, I'm going to give you a hand. I'm going to give you two hands. Now you got now you got four hands, but that's too many hands <laughs> for any one person to have. Don't you think? I think that you knew way before I did how much I loved him and how I'd really want to spend my life with him. And you made that possible. You brought us all together again. And I'm never going to be able to thank you enough for that.